Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Paiska International, new artist and educator here. Today we are going to do the koala beer, which have been requested so many times, like in private messages, but also under the comments uh, and other videos. So we will do a beautiful, cute 3D design with the gel of koala beer. You can check it out. But before we start, I also would like to show you some of those cute animals which we have seen visiting Australia. Also, big hello to my Australian friends like Julie and uh, all the other girls. Uh, it was a really nice time spent in there. But check this out, like how soft, how cute, how amazing those animals are. And I hope like everything will sort out great, like and Australia wouldn't suffer any more fires uh, and floods or other disasters. So bear with me. Obviously, you put the hands on there. He really enjoys that. <laughs> First of all, he was bended in, and then we started to scratch his tummy. Very soft, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want more? No problem, I think you want more. He's another one? Yes. Oh. 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 There's another big one on the log there. Uh -huh. And one is standing here. That's Mama. A mama. Reckon. Yeah. It's Mama and she's watching out over the babies. Oh. Look, there's a baby. There's a... That's about a mid-sum one and this is a baby. They're so cool, right? Oh, how cool. Oh. It is very hard to see though, too. Yeah, I think the baby's yeah. just getting out of the, the babies. The babies are only small, I reckon, because they're not very old. Look at that. That one down there is very <laughs> you keep an eye on your mama. Is she still pregnant? I reckon she is. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. Do you ever watch that Meek Cat documentary? Mm-hmm. That's a lot of my hair. Not a lot. Nie <laughs> So I show you here the koala teddy bear I have got from one of the girls, the local one. Uh, her name was Claire and she was doing those cute koalas uh, and selling them to donate the money uh, for all the help for the fires and so many animals injured, which is so sad. Uh, and uh, yeah, we are going to do those 
cute koala as well. I think that's a nice inspiration for me um, because we could use the 3D plastiline gel as well. And I show you uh, how to do it. So we can put this cute koala on the side. And then I've got some weed tabs in here. I will give you the links in the description below. Uh, so that's the gel I'm going to use. And I've got a few different ones. Uh, they come in like different colors. And I don't have a gray color, but that's not a problem because we can always mix it. And I will show you how to mix it as well. So for playing with the 3D gels, I do really recommend that you put the gloves because it's an uncure product and you are touching uncure product with your bare hands. So I don't think so is a good idea. <laughs> so I'm going to put the gloves on. Of course, it is much comfier to work without of the gloves, but uh, I don't want to be overexposed. So um, to save the time, we are going to buff the tip first and do the background. And the reason for it is the gel doesn't behave like the acrylics, uh, so we need to have either a rough or a sticky surface for the gel to stick in. It doesn't matter if we're doing like on the natural nails or if we're doing on the designs, that's the main rule. The gel doesn't stick into the shiny uh, surface, only to the rough or to the sticky surface. That's why we've got those inhibition layer. I'm just going to clean my nail and then we are going to paint it. So I will use like an, a Color Plus gels with the paint on French gel. And I do, there is um, blue, yellow, red, white and black. But I don't buy the black because I think it's a bit of waste of money. Same, I don't buy the white as well because I could use the paint on French, which is slightly different consistency and give me much more options. Um, so this way, like I've got only five gels which I can use and create any kind of color. And they're really highly pigmented, so I love them so much. So I'm putting a drop of the white and drop of the blue. Clean your brushes before you pick up the fresh one. And then I will just apply the sky background. So I'm using an ombre brush. And then just applying it in as a sky. So you don't need to be like very precise with this application. Actually, the, if there is any places which you got lighter or darker, it's even better. Give a nicer, nicest results. Okay, so we have created uh, those kind of sky-ish look, and now I, can, now I can give it a cure. I wanted to do this background because I want my 3D gel to stick in really well. And now I can clean my fingers, put that on the side and start preparing my uh, 3D gel. Because it is very hard, I need some spatula to pick it up and then I will be mixing the colors. So white is the color which I'm going to use mainly. So I've got a tiny bit of white, a drop of black to create my gray. I don't want too much of this black. And I quite like the gray, which has a hint of blue in it. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking also a very tiniest drop of the blue and I'm adding it on. So I've got like quite a lot of white, a tiniest drop of the blue and a little bit of the black. So now I can mix it. And actually doing it with your fingers is the quickest and the easiest way. So you're just doing it like a, you would mix the plastiline, a clay. Same way like Claire did this koala here. So you can already see I'm start getting a gray and it's pretty too dark for me now. I don't like it. I don't want my koala to be as dark. So what I'm going to do is to don't waste too much product. I'm just going to cut it on the half and pick up more white. Also, Later on, we might use the darker gray for different parts of the koala. So I just put it on the side. I keep mixing it. So that's the part which you really don't want to do it with your hands. 
and that's I'm getting a really nice gray color now yay that's the one I like much nicer perfect so I can take out my tip and start working with the first part so the first part would be a head so what I'm doing is I'm just picking up a ball just about maybe this size and I'm going to flatten it and then apply on my tip I find it that the plastiline is pretty sticky and instead of playing with the brush which would take us much longer time I've got a little bit of the baking paper here and I can apply it on the baking paper it doesn't stick into the ba uh, baking paper and I, I do really like that much easier so I've got flat and hitch and it is going to be a little bit um, wider at the place where the cheeks are and then we're going to have two dents where the ears are coming in don't make it too big because later on when we place on the tip it will flatten a little bit more and it will uh, go a bit wider now i want to peel it off so taking it off from the baking paper is much easier than from the table and I can place on my tip. Okay, so I'm just shaping it. There is a bit of glitter in there, which I don't want. <laughs> there we are. And the silicone tool brush is really great to working with the 3D uh, gels as well because we can push the product the way we need it. So I'm just creating those wee dents for the ears. And smoothing out everything. So this is our koala head shape. We are also needing those cute ears. So I'm picking up another bowl. So the ear shape, I've got it here and I'm going just to flatten it a little bit and then place on our chip. So we've got one ear of koala. And now I'm going to do the same on the other side. So just a tiny ball, flatten it up and place it in. The koala has also a white fluff in there. So I'm going to use a tiny bit of the white plastiline. So I've got two. Cut it, place it in, place it in. And then just give it a shape. So I'm just padding it in. I want also those ears to stick out a little bit from the tip. So I'm just going to make them a bit bigger. Keep the brush into the one direction, so like you've got a starting point in here.
Okay, so we've got like a nice fluffy ears. And the best and safest way to do it now is go and give it a cure. So I'm going to give it a 30 seconds cure to my gel. And in the meantime, I can prepare the bowl which we are going to use for it uh, for a belly. So I'm again, I'm just rolling it in and flatten it up. This way is just much quicker, like working on the baking paper. You could also flatten it completely in your hands as well, but with the gloves on. So let's give him a cute belly. Let's go maybe this way and now shape it. So the reason why we wanted to cure the head was to don't change the shape of it when we are doing a belly now. And again, you wanted it to be a little bit wider at the bottom. Okay, so we have created the belly part and now in the lip part I want to go white. So I'm going again picking up a little bit of the white. Make a small bowl. I've got it here. There we are. So this is going to be a mouth area. You can make it at pretty decent because uh, the nose of koala is pretty big as well. So you want that pretty decent and we want some fluff on his neck as well or hair. So actually we will do the girl. So I'm picking up again white. And now we need to do kind of a triangle shape. So I'm just sticking that in and we are working on the triangle shape. So you can see I can push the product at the place I want it. Make sure the part where the head is, it goes kind of round. And sometimes, if you need it, just dip in your uh, brush in a, a poly gel solution or a UV cleanser. Smoothed it out. Okay, so that's the neck of our koala beer. And now I need to give it a cure again. I think it will be nice if it will have some sort of bow. I'm not sure which I'm going to use this one or something else, but that's like a pretty nice gem. Okay, I have given it a flash cure. We need to also build up his hands. So, and the feet of course as well. So I'm just needing a bit more gray and I've got the darker one in here. I'm going to add a little bit more of this white to my gray, mix it well. So I'm again mixing in my fingers. Also, thank you so much for all the comments. Um, 
under the tutorials like they are much appreciated i like to read them as well actually patrick the cameraman he reads them all as well because there is quite a lot of them coming through and we've got also lots of requests for the tutorials so i have posted the picture of the french uh, manicure i have did and uh, you guys really wanted to see that so i will do this tutorial as well but on the fake finger uh, but i think it will be pretty interesting for you as well now the koala hands and the feet maybe feet first so i'm going to cut this into half and then just place one in here and the other feet in here so i've got two feet fits <laughs> and now we need to flatten it out a bit i quite like it because you can build it up in the layers and it does really have a nice 3d effect to it So we've got two cute feet, but inside those feet, I need some white as well. So I'm picking up a tiny bit of white. Cut it into half, make a tiny balls and then put it in. So ideally, I want them to be kind of a upside down love heart shape. And the other one. So I'm pushing in the middle here, look, making like a wee hole. Drag it, drag it, flat, and this way I get the love heart shape. So push, push, hole, and we've got a nice love heart shape. Let's improve this one. So make a hole, push it in, drag, drag, sharpen up the triangle. Flatten, and we have created like a nice inside of the feet. I'm going to give it a flash cure. And the nose of the koala is really dark and really large. <laughs> we are not going to go maybe as large because I want to keep this koala to be cute. <laughs> I like cute things. So that's about the size I'm going to use for a nose. Roll it into the bowl. And drop it in so I've got my ball in here and it is going to be a triangle shape so I have placed it in and now I'm going to create the triangle shape so I'm pushing to the top and making it more flat and on the bottom Sharpen it up. Obviously, like with every kind of design, the more time we spend on something, the more beautiful it is going to look. Okay, so we are getting those cute nose. I'm flattening it up with my finger just to improve the shape. Okay. 
so we've got no actually I'm I'm still want to go a bit sharper at the top that's better so I've got my koala nose and I can also do the eyes as well so the eyes are two tiny tiny black balls I've got one so what I'm doing is I'm just picking up like the smallest amount and I'm rolling in between my fingers Unfortunately, camera cannot catch everything, so I'm trying to explain the things. So I have created some balls in here. Ish balls, because <laughs> they're so small. And I'm going to place it in here now. So that's a one eye. And then I've got another one in here. It went too long, so I need to flatten it in. That's it. And again, because the eye area are the main area on any kind of animals or humans, we need to take a time to make sure they are pretty nice. So I really don't want to rush this part as I tend to rush the things sometimes for the tutorials. <laughs> it's just guys, I want you to learn the most. So, same when um, I will be using a community tab as well quite a lot for the inspiration uh, parts where you can actually see my works as well and I can do the designs and I've usually find it like I've got kind of two options. I, I can show off what kind of designs I can do and I've got a really nice display case. I will show you one day on the next tutorial maybe as well because it's I'm kind of proud of the tips which are in my display case but there is very little tips in there because they are all like kind of spot on and the ones which I'm demonstrating are the ugliest tips I do uh, just because like when doing such a detailed work, I think I just cannot breathe. Like I need to hold my breath so my hands don't shake um, to get the best kind of looks and ideas. And then I find it that's not what it is about the teaching. If you're teaching, you really want to kind of teach the person which is learning um, the design and show them the techniques rather than showing off your work. So the hand, I have rolled it in and I've got first hand there. That's a cute little hand. And we are going to do the fingers the puffs, the animals have puffs, no fingers. And the other hand, so I just roll it at those kind of shape and place it in. I actually, guys, my daughter, she would be so, oh gosh, talking too much. <laughs> my daughter, she, I believe she would be amazing in those kind of designs because she have been doing fantastic thing, fantastic things from the clay. Like absolutely amazing. And that's what it reminds me the time which I spent with my daughter like playing, but she have been like absolutely wow. She could do anything. So that's the second hand. And this one I wanted it to be more 3D, like more lifted up. Blend that in. And inside the hand, I think it will be nice if the cola is going to keep some flowers. So I've got some dried flowers here. Let me see what I've got in here. And I quite like this ones here. Yeah, I do like them. So I'm going to need a small pieces. And you have to do this part before you cure it so it stays on. I mean, this isn't a something you would do it on the client. It's too, 
to 3D. Um, but I think it's really nice for a display or for a competition work. Now this is too big still. That is so cute. And I'm going to use my silicone tool brush again to push that into his hand, her hand. Actually, it's still too big. By the way, these cuticle nippers are amazing. They are two millimeters ones and I love them. Perfect. I want the three petals, so I needed this one here as well. A bit fiddly. But I think the end results, yeah, will be fab. <laughs> okay, so with the hand, she is holding those beautiful flowers. Okay, so we've got some flowers here as well. And I'm going to give it a cure. And we will need to also fit in the bowl. We need to also finish the mouth, the sparkle in the eye and the feet as well. And for this part, I quite like to use the acrylic paints. Now you could use the gel as well, but putting a gel on top of the gel, uh, the 3D gel kind of when it's cures goes matte. And if we use the shiny gel, I think the acrylic, the 3D designs, either acrylics or gels, they don't look as nice. Uh, when the shine is on them so i do uh, prefer the acrylic paints and there is a technique called silk flowers that's the flowers which are half acrylic and half acrylic paints uh, they look absolutely fantastic and they even on the clients when they wash their hands it does stays on so we are going to use exactly the same technique uh, to finish off our koala with the details. So definitely acrylic paints would be a better option because they will stay matte and if we water them a lot they will stay on with no trouble even after washing the hands. Okay so we need to add the sparkles in the eyes so I've got a tiny bit of the water in here. I'm using the no that's my gel brush so painting fine liner is a better for acrylic paints for me. And um, I'm just going into the white. I dip in my brush in the water because I wanted it to be not too... I wanted it to be a bit watery. And a sparkle in the eye. And the other sparkle in the eye. We also need, um, so quite a lot of water in again, because we need to finish the feet. So I'm working with the white first. And we are going to do a dot in here. A dot in there and a dot in there. Another dot in here and in there. And in there. I hope all my Australian friends are going to like this uh, koala tutorial. <gasps> oh my gosh, I have to, like, I will show you when I do the, um, like, yeah, I have to <laughs> show you the stunning koala I got as well from them. I will put the picture on the community post, like, because the girls have been fantastic on the trainings and it's given me such a nice memories. Now, the black. I show you what I use. I've got something which is called Neil Art Paint Black Concentrate. And the black concentrate is amazing because it's very watery, but what it does is it makes your black to be more pigmented. So this way you can paint really nice and fine lines.
Okay, so we're painting mouth. I also need to add some blush on the cheeks. And to do that, I'm just cleaning my brush properly and going very watery into my pink with the drop of the white. So see, I've got kind of almost a water in there. So drop of white and a pink and lots of lots of water in there. And we are going to paint the blush on the cheeks. Now I need to fade it in. It's kind of like applying the makeup on. So I'm doing lots of very tiny strokes. And the longer I will play, the nicer results I will get. Drop of more of water. If you want it to be able to fade it. So we've got a wee blush on the cheek. Another cheek. Again, I need to spend some time to blend it as well. A blush on the feet. Keep it in a love heart shape as well. But yeah, the, um, Definitely check out the picture of the koala beer. I got it from the Australian Gears uh, when I was doing a training there. They know I love the Swarovski crystals and they went for Swarovski crystals koala. Absolutely cute. We can add her eyelashes as well. So a drop of water. The cameraman is searching for koala. Oh yeah, he bring it and I can see it now. So I show you guys the koala as well now. So the eyelashes. Okay, I need to hold my breath for eyelashes. Sorry. Okay, so two cute eyelashes and let it dry because we still need to put the bulb. I show you those koala is all wrapped up, saved. And yeah, thank you so much guys again for this koala, like from the crystals, I think it's so beautiful. And yeah, the, the guys knows that I love the crystals um, and it does mean like a lot to me. So thank you so much. Look at the rainbow colors, all different. It's so beautiful one. Okay, I'm going to put it on the side, this koala, and let's finish our beautiful girl. I think I can try out to see this bow here. So my paint is drying and I've got this bow here. I'm not sure if it is not going to be too big yes it is too big far too big so let me find something smaller i'm just searching i've got a wee bow here and we are going to use this cute bow i will just use the brush on neon glue to secure it So I drop off this glue in here. And oh, that's so cute. And we are going to put this cute bow in here. So that's my koala completely finished. It just needs to dry. And as you can see, the acrylic paints dried out and they stay matte. And that's what I love about this technique. So always when we are applying the three, uh, the 
always when we are applying the color choose the acrylic paints because it's a better option uh, than going for the gels which are shiny and I think they just spoil the look so that's the color we have created today uh, with the 3d gels I give you the links in the products the 3d gels I use in the description below that's the cute and stunning uh, koala from the girls from Australia big kisses guys for you and I hope to see you in October as well because I've got another training going on in New Zealand yeah in October time so if you guys any of you from New Zealand there's an educator training coming up uh, where you can meet me in person and that's the beautiful koala done by Claire and Claire have been amazing as well she have uh, um, done it uh, to sell it and put this money through to the wild animals which have been injured she sent me a, when i bought it from her she sent me also a screenshot that she did transfer this money um for the for those pure animals so yeah keep sharing those love for the koala and uh, big kisses for you all and i hope like the fires will finish in australia and all those cute koalas and kangaroos and other different animals like which are so amazing are going to don't suffer anymore uh yeah because it's a big shame anyway thanks guys for watching bye